Hello guys and welcome to TerraTech, the car and robot building game developed by Payload Studio. It's a really cool game, I was looking to forward to playing it for a while, but we see as some of you are aware I had laptop issues. So what I'm doing here now, I'm building this very simple robot, just four wheels, laser on top, because obviously we're going to fight, we're on the alien planet and we never know what we're going to meet. So let's have a drive. Let's see what we can get in here. Okay, there is a car spawning. The game implements some sort of auto-targeting. So if you manage to destroy the middle block of your opponent, you actually get destroyed completely. So the same applies to you. If your if your main part, this one, gets destroyed, it's game over. So you have to be careful. But okay, we managed to grab some of these parts and now we get to follow this blue arrow That will take us to our main base Oh, there is some robots already there And there is some sort of fight That's a big guy Let's get in Let's See what he does Come on, get in Okay, we managed to get some his cannons can only shoot straight, really, so if we keep spinning him around... We can actually destroy him. Yes, well done. Okay, he's still there, so we have to make sure that we completely destroy him. Awesome, okay. That is our raffinery. So we need some wood to make some biofuel. That's the main part. Just swap this round and put the drill. Really kind of digs through the things as well. Okay, we destroy the wood. We destroy the tree and collect the wood, as I meant to say. And we push it round to our base. It gets gets things done and it sucks things out for you. So what it does, as you can see there, it moves it round down the production line and transforming it into a biofuel. Buy a fuel will create this energy field that will protect you. Grab one more gun. You can never have too many guns. Okay, now they want us to get some money and get some coal. So let's just build this vehicle a little bit longer. Don't want it too long. Oh, you mean they will there? There. Spin round. And yeah. Gun. Awesome, okay. Looks like a sausage dog, but that's okay. We got some coal. It's not that easy to turn anymore, so they actually implemented physics. It's more difficult to turn longer cars and quite a few things. You put the coal in there, you got to be moved around, and you got to sell it. That's your delivery cannon. Press it in here, that's coal, and it's worth 200 of whatever currency they use. We sold that. Okay, we earned some money, and that is great. We don't need it already. I don't know. Okay, I think I've done it too early for game to register. So that's the, you know, the game is still in early alpha it's coming on steam as the early access soon so you can play it there so the, the mistakes are kind of expected okay we play skull again and let's see what happens okay now it registered it harvest a chungle almantia or an emerald ore now this uh, emerald ore in here Yep, yeah. just move it around. Come on. Oh my god, it's so difficult to steer it. I think I will actually get rid of this. Yeah, easier now. And that's Emerald, and that's Almantia here. So let's grab one piece of Almantia. 
and just move it around until we get it in our base. Soon we will have to push it like that. It's just the initial stage of the game that you have to push things around. Okay, awesome. Now the things can get refined. So let's go here, refine this and this. As you can see, they will be put, moved around on the production line and they will get refined. Now we got to click on the fabricator and they want us to be this timber tractor. Unlock it for 200 credits and we can build one. Also, it is here already. We used the uh, Avantia and Emerald, but now this thing is cool because it actually speeds up everything. Okay, also now we are kind of in the really sandbox feel kind of game now because basically what we have to do we have to unlock other other parts by fighting bosses. There are like guardians bosses, but you don't have to get the parts until you actually win the fight with the guardian. So I will show you in a minute how it works. Got this? Let's just move and stock it with fuels for a while because if your base gets destroyed, it's game over for you. And I'm going to show you how it works now. If you travel around the world, you get to destroy other robots. And you move to new biomes. In the biomes, you get new bosses. And if you find a boss, you can actually unlock new equipment to buy. Just move quickly here, fight one guy, save it once. Very easy fight. He only had a melee weapon. I think he was already injured. Okay, we got him. We'll just take it with us, just because we can. You can use drills for a melee attack, I know that. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Are we stuck on something? We are... See, that's the, that, that's the problem you have in this game at the moment as well, that you get... You get stuck sometimes. Sometimes it's for completely no obvious reason. Let me quickly rebuild my car. Moving around. It helps to have wheels to move the car on it. Okay, I'm just on time. Because as you can see there is a new guy coming in our direction, so we have to fight him. Another drill guy. So that's the guy that live in the... They live in the forest. Okay, let's move that. Let's grab it for now and just move to our base. And then we'll go expand a little bit more and move to our base. Yeah, so there are two kind of guys that live in this biome. It's this tall guy. He kind of shoots at everything and it's really easy to destroy. Oops, there's another guy shooting at us. Who is that? Another toy guy. Okay, let's grab this gun. Grab it. Awesome. Okay, so you get this tall guy that live in this forest. We'll just grab some guns, just so we have more firepower. There's one more wheel in there. And let's go and explore some more. One more gun. Never say no to guns, guys. That's the... That's the rule of any fighting game. Never, never ever say no to guns. Okay, stock it with fuel. And now, when you click on a fabricator, you see we have more recipes. We can unlock them for $500, bitcoins, whatever you want to call them. And so we can unlock all these weapons. But some of them are masked. You cannot actually unlock it from here. You have to actually go and fight some bosses, so why don't we do that? Let's swap this thing, leave it there. And we'll go and explore. Okay, we're ready for action. Let's go and have a look what lives in some other parts of the game. There's a red arrow here, so let's follow it and see what we can find. 
something is shooting at me. Okay, that's this tall guy. The good thing is the game has auto-targeting, so you don't have to worry about anything else in this game, really. You don't have to target yourself, it will target for you. You accidentally destroy his gun, I think we did. That's it. That is a shame. Yeah. Yeah, we destroy his laser, that's fine. Let's see what is in the desert desert biome. There's some geysers here. Whoops. Yeah, if you have a forever, press B and it will lift you up and put you back in. I'm not sure if you could see that. There was some flashy points there. And that means there will be a guardian there protecting a new equipment. So let's go and get it. There's already some kind of tank guy. Whoa! He's one. Okay. Oops! Okay then. The game is over. He completely wrecked us. Press escape. Continue from save file, so we actually saved the game before I went there. So I will go back here and we can see something else. So the good thing is, you know, unlike like other sandbox games, this one allows you to make a save and play from it. So if you want this kind of experience but you don't want to risk everything going for new adventure, you can save the game and you can just continue playing from the save. So just save before every journey and it will be fine. Especially that you, you know you have only one life, so if you lose it's game over, it doesn't restart you. I mean it restarts you on the very beginning of the map, on the very new map. And as far as I figured, I don't think the maps are procedurally generated, they look very similar. Maybe they are, but for me they just felt very very similar. Okay. Let's go here. And let's see what we have. There is a lot of driving through the deserts and different biomes, but I think it's quite nice. I like it that there are different biomes. The problems I experienced with the game so far is it crashes sometimes. But it is early alpha, so you can expect that and you can forgive it. It's not even green, it's not even on uh, Steam Early Access yet. It's coming soon though, so I'm hoping that when they move to the Steam Early Access the crashes will be completely finished. You know, there will be no more crashes or anything like that. Okay, let's go on this, this is healing here. Let's see what we have. There's some mountains. There is something there. Let's go and check it out. Well, come on, let's go quickly. And we'll see how it goes. No, it turned out to be just a geyser. But let's destroy the geyser, we'll see what it does. If it does actually anything or not. No, it does nothing, you just get these rocks on it. Okay. Well, that was, was a very eventful event. Let's go to our base and let's see what we can get from different biomes. Okay, I'm back on our base. I think what we're going to do, we're going to collect some emeralds and we're going to unlock some other material before we move further. So let's not destroy emeralds. Do we still have our bit in here? No, the parts despawn after a while, so you have to be careful with that. I wish there was like a gar garage or something that you can store the parts that you already built for future expansion. So let's see. Go here. Put this one there. We need some Almantia. Just to make our collection e easier in the future. Okay, let's move it around. Got it, let's refine it. And we want one of those. We have to unlock the better wheels, I think, and other materials as well. But for now, let's just get this. This will make our life easier. 
So let's collect these materials, we'll sell the round. And we'll do things with it. You go there. Okay, drills. Drills will sell some emeralds and we'll actually move on to buying new products. There is somebody coming. Yeah, there is this tall guy coming. Okay, we'll get him. Let's get him. He has just one cannon. He's very tall and very easy to knock down, as you can see. It's a matter of a few seconds and he's down. Grab his cannon, just so we have one more. Grab some trees. We'll probably do one more thing like that. Okay, I will click here and I will say this machine is to refine it forever. And now they will refine every bit I place in here, they will refine. I probably want one more tractor just to expand faster. And then we'll sell the rest. Awesome. So now if we click here. We can actually sell emerald ore, but if we refine it, we can sell crystals, and we will sell them for now. So, as you can see, money is flowing nicely. Okay, now should, we should be fine. Oh, what happened? We destroyed a tree, but nothing dropped from it. On. Okay, now it's better. Okay, three. Well, you actually have to hover there for a little bit longer so it actually sucks the things from you. Okay. Emerald are dropping nicely. Come on, let's pick them up. Six. And that will sell automatically for us as well. They just park here and move them around. And I think we should have enough money if I collect more emeralds now. We should have enough money to unlock some new recipes. Yeah, you see money is flowing nicely for us now. Okay, and you unlock that as well. And that should do. Go to Fabricator and let's see what we have in here. have new wheels and I think we should benefit from them quite nicely. We have the cannons like that, drills. Let's unlock them just because we can. Like that. And I think now we have everything. Okay, awesome. We unlocked everything here. And they're moving around as well for us. Okay, nice, let's just stop selling them because I think we unlocked everything that we could unlock. Let's see now what we can build. So we want these new wheels and after that we should be able to move quite nicely. So I need some rubber for it. And you have this thing, you can move it around as well so that's not bad. Yeah, I will leave it for refining forever. I will leave rubber. It will be refined forever as well. And we'll go and collect more. We need plenty of these new wheels. So I will be back with you guys when I do that. And then we'll move on and explore. Okay, there is some bad guy in here. Let's grab him. He moves faster than us, but we have a better, sh better firepower. Yeah. You run. He'll get you. Yeah. Well done. Oh, and he actually had the wheels I wanted. That is so awesome. Let's swap them around. Want this wheel here. And this wheel here. 
I lost one wheel in the middle, but that's okay, I can replace it now with a bigger wheel. Okay, awesome. I don't need that many of them now. Just go here. I will tell them to make one, two, three, four, five, probably. That should be enough for us. You can see we are placing them nicely. Making fuel. Me like that. Like that. I need three more. I need rubber and I need alumentia thingy. Let's go and get it. Okay, now finally we have our final wheel. And our vehicle is complete. And it moves much better now. It is higher, it doesn't drag on the ground that much, it's more gonna feel like land lover than anything else. So let's go and explore. Okay, there is some guys in here. Not the one with fought for. You have to make sure that your center is protected well, otherwise you are in serious trouble. And he is causing quite a bit of damage. Oh my god, get him. What is he? No, he's still there. Oh my god! He actually did destroy us. Okay, we lost here. That's okay. I think you got the juice of the main game. You go explore things, you destroy other cars, you collect their parts, you build your own vehicle. Okay guys, so now that we finish the main game for now, I would like to show you some other things the game presents you with. The first one are the challenges, we have a few several ones. Racing, flying, sumo and Christmas defense. Basically racing is you build a car and race around, flying you build a car and try to fly. And sumo is like a robot fight, you try to push the other guy down. Now we'll click you show you racing. Just so you can have a look and idea how it looks. Let's start a new vehicle in here. And just the basic, the most basic race ever, just for the checkpoints. So you get your car, you get your parts as well. And just get to build something cool. I will just build normal 2v2 car, I think. Slightly heavier front and few wheels. And the parts are not unlimited, so if you don't need if you pick too many of them, they will just run out. You have only have so many wheels before you run out of parts, so you have to plan it. For now, I'll just press B and just show you how it looks. The normal W, oh, not working great. Make it a little bit longer, just to make it more stable. And also, partially because I need to put the wheel drive. Raise the wheel, other wheel. I think I will move it to the middle. Okay, we got to go. So as you can see, you just go through the checkpoints. And you can measure your time. Also gives you your maximum speed limit, so if you want to... Oh, pretty turning well. You can test yourself what maximum speed you can achieve. That's another option for you. And I quite like it. It allows you to actually build things without worrying about other cars and it's really cool. And so we just complete a few checkpoints. And I think you're getting the idea of it. You can then you know obviously improve your design and try to beat the time lap. A better better times every time. So as you could see in the parts there there was like jet engines and other parts as well. And all these parts are available in the game as well, so you will be able to actually use them in the sandbox option. As long as you get you get to unlock them, you defeat the uh, guardians, then you can use all the parts in the game. I think that's kind of a really nice thing that you can you know, you can just chill out in here and do it. 
Okay, that's our crime. Our new record is 43 miles top speed and the best time is 11. It's also pra practicing your driving as well as the dive. Just for fun, let's place this on the back and let's see how it drives. You can see it's much faster already. So already small change to the design makes it a little bit faster. You see it a bit more wobbly as well, but that's something that you have to accommodate for. Spinning turbine is really making it faster as you can see. And there is a lot of things you can you know practice in here. I'm not going to continue that because the car wasn't the best time, but you get the idea of how it works. Let's go back to my menu and let's go to development cha chamber. Start a new one. And here you get to practice your dream car. So you have all the parts in the game available for you. But you can see there's quite a few of them already. Like, look at that. That's your mega cannon. And it's a powerful shot as well, so you can you can see what is available in the game for you, and you can see how you could practice that. Let's grab B, place it underneath, Let's place one more next to it, like that, and drop your cannon. Press B again, and you can see how powerful cannon you can have. Funny thing is as well, it shoots you off. So you can actually have a cannon power vehicle. Let's build that. Let's let's do it. Okay, we have our car ready. Just turn it around so we can go backwards. And let's see if the cannon will actually work for us. Oh, no, they don't anymore. Don't have enough power. Okay, that was a cool plan, but it didn't work. But yeah, you can see you can build your vehicles. You can practice them on this the jumps in here, how they behave. You know, you can different ramps. This one is turning rubbishly. And that's okay. Okay, so that's that development chamber. So as you can see, there is there is a lot of parts. You know, let me just grab my car, give it some wheels, and I will drive around you and show you. Okay, so let's have a little tour around and let's, let's show you what it is. So that's the basic parts we had in the beginning of the game. Then you develop these jet engines, all sorts of this stuff. You get these flying wheels as well, you know, wings, uh, spoilers, turbines and everything as well. Then you have this your heavy weapon weaponry. There's cannons, this thing, whatever it is, this large hoover plate and all other things like that. So you can build a hovercraft if you wanted to. And then you have this all heavy vehicle, so it, you know, like a proper massive lorries. So there is, there is a lot of things, you know. You get some boards as well. Let's have a look at it. Looks more like a cape, really, to me. But hey, you can you can get that. You can get two of them. Not sure what they do. They don't do much, but. Yeah, so as you can see, there is quite a few parts, you know, in the development chamber, you can buy your dream vehicle and then you can decide what you want in the game and kind of aim towards it, really. And then you get these tracks as well, so you can see how it behaves up the hill and things like that. And obviously steeper hills and all sorts. Uh, this one is struggling. I think you got the idea. You can do your slaloms there. So there, there is quite a lot of things to do in development chamber and I think that can be fun on its own really. So okay guys, I think that's it in this uh, series about this game. Tell me what you think about it, it is available on Steam very very soon. In the meantime you can buy it from the developer website. And I have to admit it costs quite a bit of money, but I think the game has great potential and with time, you know, and if they continue producing the content for it, it's going to be a great game and I think it's going to be a really enjoyable experience for you. If you want to wait, I advise probably that you wait till uh, Steam, 
the game is on early access and then can, you can kind of observe how it's developing and have more regular updates there. Thank you guys for watching, please let me know in the comments if you would like to see more of this game, I don't mind turning it into a short let's play series if you are interested in that. And don't forget to like this episode because that always helps me a lot and that's, the, that's why I'm doing the videos for you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.